Hi there, Mike Holmes here at ReachKeep.com with 5 Minutes to Better Sunday. Today we're talking about how to do Facebook ads for church and for Easter specifically. So if you've been wondering how to do a Facebook ad for your Easter service, let me show you the simple and easiest way to do this. We're not going to get into the paid advertisement on this one. We have another Facebook post that you can, uh, uh, or actually a YouTube video that you can look at on called How to Do Facebook uh, ads for churches. Um, you can take a look at that. That's in our feed. But uh, this is how to do one for Easter specifically. And so what I'm going to do is kind of, you know, shrink myself down here and uh, jump right into a couple of things. We want to start out with uh, a couple thoughts here. First of all, uh, before I shrink myself down, or I'll bring myself back up. How's that? Uh, I want to uh, uh, talk about just kind of a couple things that you need to have in your ads and uh, when you're when you're promoting out there whether it's a printed ad you put on a, a you know a bulletin board or you know wherever it happens to be or something you're going to post online or even something that you would print and mail out uh, you want to know the difference between features and benefits that's a very important thing it is very easy for us to talk about our features, which would be like, you know, we're a Baptist church and here's our address and here's what time our services are. Those are all, you know, great and important things. Those are just what we call the, the features. You know, we have a service at 930, another one at 11. We have Sunday school for kids, uh, those type of things. We want to make sure, though, that as much as possible, we talk about benefits and how ads benefit somebody or put it this way how your church would benefit uh, somebody I wrote down just a couple of examples these are just kind of some plain ones uh, kind of from the business world uh, for example if you're selling bicycles you might say our bicycle has you know 24 gears and someone might be really impressed that it has 24 gears uh, but the other way to say that is it will help you go uphill easier and for some people, that's what they want. That's the benefit. One's a feature, one's a benefit. Another one here, uh, this more church. Uh, a Sunday school starts at 9.30. Uh, you know, another way you could say that is we have a safe and secure uh, environment for our children's programs. And people are very conscious of that in this day and age. So that's a t talking a little bit more about the benefits. So when you get to your Easter ads, you want to talk about that. And I'll show you some in the artwork here in just a moment. Um, Jesus rose from the dead uh, 2,000 years ago. Uh, that's, you know, very uh, feature-oriented thing about Easter. Very good. I wrote this down. Uh, the first words that he gave his disciples was, Peace be unto you. And maybe you need some peace. Well, we're going to talk about what the resurrection brings, how it can bring peace peace. You see, it's more of talking about the benefits from there. So anyway, that's something that's uh, very important that you want to have. Uh, and then make sure, of course, before you do ads that you have been kind of building rapport and you have been communicating with people. So this is not the first time they see you uh, online or see your pictures or the name of your church, but they've seen you multiple times already. And that is just the regular, consistent being on there. And if you'd like to learn more about that, Facebook for Pastors. You can download that at reachkeep.com. There's a thing on the sidebar uh, that will help you to get that, uh, but we would love for you to, to download that. That really help you to learn to be consistent with this. So, all right, uh, let's just jump into some ads. So, uh, Shrinky here. Uh, all right, here we go. I want to uh, kind of show you just some uh, a couple of things that we have done here. First of all, I'll just show you uh, one of the ideas is to make sure that you use consistent artwork uh, so that people kind of recognize it so you don't have things all over the board. It doesn't mean everything has to be exactly the same, uh, but this is just a picture here of an Easter egg I found, and I thought, nah, it's just, it's simple, it's plain, and Facebook likes simple, plain pictures. If you put a lot of words on them, uh, you don't get as high as ranking, and uh, so I just basically took this ad. I took a black uh, box here and wrote what we had, three Easter morning services, so there's a feature, uh, but the, here's the benefit. Uh, three Easter services, you know, relief, hope, and peace, and those are actually the three points of my Easter message that we're going through, the, the prayers that people said uh, on Easter Day, then how Jesus answered those, uh, and then I have the services, you know, 8, 9, 30, and 11, Sinclair Baptist, and a little more data. So this is just a simple black box and I took uh, the egg and just placed it in there and voila I have an ad and that's all there is to it very simple uh, I've used the egg in a couple other places we put it side by side for a couple of, of uh, different things but that is uh, how we've done it now 
Uh, there is another place where I have used uh, the egg here, and I'll just show you. Let's see, wrong window. Uh, you know, if I had my glasses on, this would be a really helpful Easter hope. Okay, no, that's what I'm on. Um, <clears throat> it's card, Easter card. There we go. All right, this is a card that we have handed out, and you wonder why it's upside down because it kind of it prints and then folds in half. And I put the same egg in there. And these are invite cards that we give, and our, our people will hand those out or are handing those out currently already. And it just says you are cordially invited to, kind of like a wedding, you know, or you know, something special. You're cordially invited to relief, hope, and peace. Uh, it's kind of the same things. And there is the egg again. And, uh, yeah, you can just see that uh, that's just an egg that goes in there. And I uh, put it in a little uh, kind of an archway uh, archway kind of a thing and then we have our easter service thing this is identical to our posters that we're putting up so i want to show you that now how do we get some of that into facebook let's go over here uh, to facebook this is my uh my page all right and uh, kind of click on the little f over here and it kind of shows uh you know the feed here i want to show you first of all uh how to uh uh, you uh, post it just on your own page, which is probably pretty easy. This would be, you know, uh, what are you, uh, what's on your mind? You can post it right there. Uh, that's probably the simplest thing to do. And you usually type some text and then take your artwork and and uh, paste it, uh, paste it in there. Uh, let me just go over and I will show you a couple things that I did this morning. Uh, this was a post uh, from me about our church uh, tomorrow, uh, Sinclair Baptist Give Back Sunday, and we have this uh, kind of big special incentive we're doing here, or not incentive, but it's kind of a special gift we're giving back to our people, and you can probably take a guess what uh, we're, we're giving away. we got something special for them, uh, and so I just posted that, uh, you know, right here on my page and my status, and that uh, that just kind of goes out uh, to everybody that's, that's my friend, so that's one way. Uh, we also have a church page, and you probably uh, have one of those too. And it's right here, Sinclair Baptist Church. And you can go to that page. Here's our uh, picture of our building. And we have uh, something pinned up there for an Easter egg hunt that we're doing for the kids. And here is that same thing that I already posted. The more addresses or more names that you collect and have people that like you, the better you're able to get those things out. And it goes out to lots of different people. It uh, hasn't been out uh, very long already. Got 20 different people. I've taken a look at it there. So just put that up a little bit ago. Um, so anyway, that's one of the things. Now I want to show you how to actually get it out into the community a little bit better. And uh, this takes us back over here. If you click on uh, if you if you click on this little button here, okay, this takes you uh, to an explore area. You go down to see more. And from there, you go down to this area called Buy Sell Groups. This is what you want to click on if you are not a member already of some of the groups in your, uh, in your community. And this is our community, and it shows the, uh, the different groups that are there. You can change the map on it, and it will show you the different ones in our community. So let me just kind of go over here. This is the next spring town over. It's about 100, uh, 120 miles away from our church. And if I wanted to advertise over there and get into it, all of these, okay, represent different groups that are in this town called Rock Springs. Now, here they are. Rock, uh, I'll start at the top. Uh, online garage sale, 13,000 people. Rock Springs classifieds, 15,000. Uh, no rules sale, 12,000 people. You can see all of these are reaching a, a lot of people in that community, and you're going to want to get join one of those groups. You actually uh, click the join button and some of them you have to be approved and they'll put you into that group. And then you can buy and sell things. You know, you can sell your uh, tires to your car. You can look for a lost cat. You can find out if school is closed today because uh, of the weather, uh, those type of things. But you can also put your ads up for your church. And so this is absolutely free. Uh, we do it all the time. And I want to go to one here. We're going to go to this one. This is called Rollins Upcycle. This is now one of our local uh, ad sites here. 
and I'm just going to go to this start discussion button here and I'm going to write something. Now I've already uh, kind of prepared some text uh, so I can just paste that in. I'll go back over here to my Easter uh, Easter hope thing. I would like to personally invite you to our Easter services. Okay. Um, Resurrection Sunday, as some call it, is the pinnacle day of Christianity. No holiday is greater. No fact is more pivotal. It is a day of great rejoicing, a day of great gatherings. I'd be thrilled if you'd join us on this very special day. Mike Holmes, Sinclair Baptist. So I'm going to just take that text and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right there. <clears throat> now I want to add some artwork to this. And so the way that we add the artwork to this is I, I have this already saved in an, another area here, my Dropbox in my, uh, my little screenshot area here. And I have a artwork that is called Easter Invite. And that may look familiar to you. That is the, uh, that little uh, relief, hope, and, and peace thing. So I have to click on that button. It takes me, I'm, it's navigating through a different way. Easter <clears throat> invite, excuse me, I choose, and it puts that artwork uh, right there on the, on the screen, okay? And I will hit the post uh, button, and there it is. And that ad is now live. That went out to about 7,000 people in my community. Now, you may say, well, where's, you know, your times and, you know, if you want to direct them to a website and a lot of things like that. The, what you would do is then come down here in the comments area and leave a comment. You can check us out at SinclairBaptistChurch.com. We have four services, Saturday night, Sunday, 8, 9, 30, and 11. I can add all that stuff in there later. So let me do it one more time for you. I'm going to go to another one. This one here is our local community. Our county seat is called uh, Rollins. So it's Rollins News and Chatter. And this is just a, a great place where people like to talk. Okay. So I will paste in that same text and I will click on the thing. I will bring in my artwork, my Easter invite artwork that I prepared ahead of time, but you saw it there. It has a little egg in it. <clears throat> And this is important because that artwork is going out, that egg, and that is going out on some different things in the community as well. And I hit the post button, and I have now advertised to about another 7,000 7, people. Now, some of these overlap, obviously, in our community, uh, and that's, that's good. It helps people uh, uh, get the ads that they need. So this is how you do advertisement on Facebook. You build rapport. You constantly give out your benefits and let people know what the benefits are of things. And then just be consistent and keep sending, uh, sending those things out. So uh, that's kind of how to, how to do that. Official ads, again, you can find that on YouTube on how to do ads for local church. It would be right in our ReachKeep feed there, and that would be helpful. Uh, for now, though, this is Mike at ReachKeep.com. I would love for you uh, to subscribe to this video uh, feed because we get these out every week, uh, helping churches, local churches be what local churches need to be, an impact and a just a dynamite power in their community. We believe the local church should be the most important building in your community, the most important entity in the community, and that's what we're here to help you do. So uh, again, Mike at ReachKeep.com. Don't forget you can download that freebie on how to get, uh, you know, how to have a, an awesome Easter, an awesome Easter spurt, and uh, I'll put the link to that on the bottom, and you can click on that and get that, that freebie. It's got like six different great ideas uh, for Easter, and of course, check out the rest of the Easter challenge videos uh, at the same time. So uh, uh, a little bit longer again than five minutes uh, to better Sundays, but I know this one will help you. Uh, it will reach out to hundreds, uh, hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people in your community and bring them uh, the hope that they can find only in Jesus Christ. So God bless you. Thanks.